So here I'm just in a normal SharePoint site and I'm gonna go ahead and click and create a new document library. In this document library, I'm gonna store purchase orders. So it, now with Project Cortex, I have this new option in the ribbon called AI Builder. If I click on that, it's gonna bring me to this forms processing option that's available in, well, now it's Power Automate, not Power Apps. And I'm gonna create a form, an AI model for purchase orders. So to do that, I need to have five or 10 examples of what the document has, uh, what a document, uh, what a purchase order looks like. Now, uh, they need to have the same layout. That's really important. So I'm gonna go ahead and, and select a bunch of purchase orders. I'm gonna upload them to the AI builder. And then I'm gonna select the fields that I wanna save from the form. So here, AI Builder has suggested some fields that it, se it seems like I might wanna save. So for example, uh, the vendor's name and address, by clicking on it, I added a field over here. I also might wanna know the date of the purchase order or any of these things really. So here it's pulled out a lot of the things it, it thinks are interesting. This is my model summary where I have um, the fields that I selected. I'm gonna click train down here. It's gonna take some time, maybe like sometimes it's half a day, sometimes it's a day. <clears throat> and now I have my, um, my model. So I can test that model and make sure it actually works or I could click publish to have it appear in the library. So then I'm gonna create a flow that actually processes files when they're added to the library. So there's a, an, a, a template for the flow that's already built for you that you'll just modify for your situation. And now that I have a flow and I have a data model, when I click upload, and I add these documents to the library, it automatically pulls those fields from the form that I designated and puts them as metadata in a library. So why is this important? Well, let's say that I want to apply one type of retention label to contracts that are less than $5,000, so like these ones here, and then I have a different retention period for contracts over 5,000 euros. Uh, that would be this one. I can read the metadata and do that automatically. Or let's say that you then wanted to um, automatically process the payment to that vendor. By using Microsoft Flow, you have the address of the vendor already nicely formatted, and you could um, integrate that with your checks processing system to automatically mail it to the correct location without an end user having to manually input that address. Those are just two examples, but the possibilities are really endless.